Oh, brothers and sisters uh, in Christ, uh, this is Christmas Eve. Uh, this is uh, St. Joseph's Church, Woodside, uh, newly decorated with flowers ready for, for Christmas. So may I wish you all uh, a happy Christmas and especially uh, any of you who may be alone on Christmas Day. Well, what a year it has been, and um, it's not the easiest part of the year at this moment. But let's not dwell on that. Let's not dwell on it. Uh, unto us a child is born, unto us a sign, son is given, and he shall be called Emmanuel, God with us. So Christmas reminds us of this, but Christmas brings it to us. Now, I think... Um, you know, if a story is worth telling, it's certainly worth telling twice. I mean, I suppose the Christmas story has been told, you know, more, uh, more than 2,000 times. But this is a story I, I'm aware I have told before, but I do like it. And uh, it's the story of the Jewish rabbi many centuries ago who lived in Krakow. And uh, he had a dream. He had a dream three times. And in the dream, he was told, there is a treasure waiting for you. And if you go to Prague, to the Royal Bridge at Prague, you will find this treasure. So off he set, a very long walk. He gets to the bridge in Prague and he sees that it's kind of sealed off and there are soldiers there and he can't get close to it. But every day he, he walks up to the bridge or he, he walks right round up another bridge and comes back and walks round. And after he's been doing this for some while, uh, the captain of the guard there says, well, what are, you, what are you doing? So he says, well, I had a dream. And uh, the dream was that there was a treasure for me at this bridge in Prague. And the captain of the guard laughed and he said, you are an idiot. Uh, do you take notice of any dream? Why do you take notice of dreams? You know, I had a dream once, and it was a dream about um, a rabbi Isaac who lived in Krakow, and that underneath his stove there was a treasure. Do you really think I'd be such an idiot as to go off to Krakow and look round? There'll be hundreds of rabbi Isaacs in Krakow and find his house and go into this man's house and go under his stove and pull out a treasure. Ugh! forget your dream. So Rabbi Isaac said, thank you very much, and <laughs> walked all the way back to Krakow, looked under his stove, and lo and behold, there was the treasure. Well, the moral is the treasure is where you are, uh, or the moral really is there is a treasure. <laughs> That's the real moral, and, and the treasure is where you are and I suppose many of us uh, over Christmas this year will be where we are we'd have rather been somewhere else uh, or with other people but we are here but unto us a child is born unto us a son is given born and given the treasure is there our hearts the stable our faith is Mary and the child is ours now the shepherds as far as we know they're the first ones to receive the revelation as far as we know they weren't um, particularly holy they certainly weren't particularly distinguished they weren't particularly anything um, they probably spent most of their time talking about their sheep talking about their families and saying what a rotten government they had and yet they were interrupted by an angel. I often thought if you wanted to write a short story about uh, Christmas, Interrupted by Angels would be a nice title. But we're actually interrupted by more than angels. We're interrupted by the Son of God. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. We don't have to go looking for what will make us happy, because what will make us happy is already here. We don't have to be desperate about things chasing our tail or about getting on or getting better known. Uh, we don't even have to agonize about finding the truth. Truth has sprung up from the earth, says the psalm, born of the Virgin, says St. Augustine. We just have to take him in our arms. We just have to admit where we are in the mess, in the stable, that we are loved, infinitely loved and irreversibly loved. That's the message of Christmas. So let's invite him in. 
God dwells wherever we let him in, straw and muddle, alone or with others. In fact, he's already there. Like the rabbi, we just have to turn round and go back home. Look under the stove. There it is. Become a child yourself, says Jesus, and you'll find me. The best possible deal, we might say, has been done. We give God ourself and he gives us himself. And he is the author and the content of it all. So happy Christmas to you all. Uh, if you know someone who will be alone, well, reach out to them if you can. But let's just all rejoice in the gift. Thank you. God bless and have a wonderful Christmas.